Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick preview to our Lehigh Valley Phantoms, the weekend preview, as we have two against the Charlotte Checkers, as my eyes are watering from allergies, babe, but we have two from the Charlotte Checkers, as we have... Connor Carrick on that team, who was obviously good in the AHL, but the defenseman gotta watch out for somebody that my one buddy's good buddies with is Matt Kerstead. He already has three points and two assists, one goal in five games played. He's a good player back there. But if we're really, <clears throat> excuse me, if we're really getting onto the guy you really want to watch for their team. That would be Logan Husko, who has two goals and five assists and seven points. He's been playing like a bat out of hell early in the season and has been really good for them as well as McCormick. Max McCormick's been very good with two goals, three assists, and five points. And so has Maxime Mamin with two goals, three assists, and five points. So their team has been playing really good. And they also have Cole Lynn since the Checkers, of course, are split between the Florida Panthers and the Seattle Kraken, who just announced their Coachella team starting in the next season. But for this year, they're split with them there. They also have Noel, who's a hell of a player, and Alexander Crew, who kicks butt at the AHL level. And that is exactly what he's doing with four goals, four assists, and eight points being a points-per-game player so far to start this season. So this Charlotte Checkers team has a lot of players, a lot of players to be weckoned with. They also called up today from the ECHL, uh, Anton Babayu, who played in a game already this year, played really well as a 918 save percentage after that one game, as they also have Joey Dackard, who of course is the swing man that goes up and down, and Christopher Gibson there, who is a good, obviously some NHL people know Gibson is struggling when he's got his cup of coffee with the Islanders, but he's been a pretty steady Eddie, pretty solid um, I'm not going to say one of the best, but solid like in that middle tier when it comes to AHL goaltending, and that's a good guy to have on your team. So those would be the players you have to look out for when it comes to the Charlotte Checkers. They're a talented team. They're a team that has a mix of prospects, obviously, from that Seattle team, more so from Florida, because Seattle doesn't have the biggest pool because they're our newest team, but uh, they have a very good team down there. When it comes to our Lehigh Valley Phantoms, I mean, it doesn't have points yet this year, but has looked like a menace on the ice and has looked like the overs himself is Connor Bunneman. So that's somebody, honestly, this weekend against the Checkers. I expect him to get his first points, whether that's via an assist or via a goal. I see him getting his first points. Another guy that I see starting to pile on the points as time goes on is going to be Adam Glendening because he's played a very good clean game. He's a great first passer guy. I see him getting more assist numbers as time goes on in the Phantoms, have that scoring output continue to churn up and actually get more going there. Obviously, I've been impressed with Tyson Forster being able to kind of play through, not adversity, but play through the frustration. What we saw when he got that goal the other day, he looked so relieved, and I think he's kind of ready to fly and take off. Morgan Frost has four points this year, but is finally starting to step up. We saw him, like Bob Rotruck said, really last game play his best game as a full player and not just in the offensive zone. And that's what you want to see from Morgan Frost going forward. You need to see him as a full brut player on the entire ice and not just a guy that is really dominant in the offensive zone. Of course, the germ, German Rusoff, it looked like a blessing in disguise, honestly, for him to get his time in the KHL last year. As getting more experience over there seemed to have made him really come back here and pound and look like a different player on the ice. And when he uses his aggressiveness and his skill, when he actually, because he has it, he has very good skill when he really is aggressive with it. When we've seen that this year, he's been very dynamite on the ice. He just needs to kind of trust himself to be aggressive more because he's a good enough skater to get back. And then he really are going to see the full effects of what Ruby can do. Um, when it comes to Garrett Wilson, obviously, I've just always liked him since we got him. He'll stand up for everybody. Same with Brandon Saunier. And both of them have actually been able to produce some points when it's come to since being on the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Not yet this year for Saunier, but just in general from last year since being on the Phantoms. And then, of course, we got the great Max Wilman and Igor Zamula, who was playing very well. And then Cooper Zek in his first game had some blocked shots. And then we all know about me with the goaltending. 
Um, I don't care who's in that, whether it's Urson of the Swedish duo or Sandstrom. Sandstrom, I would imagine, would be in that for the first set of games just because he's been electric this year. But maybe the throw to Urson to give Sandstrom an extra day. And I even trust Kirill. He had one off game in the ECHO after being dynamite the last time he was down there and is coming off of a bad injury. So it's going to take him some time to work back. The Phantoms didn't have him as a backup for no reason last week. If they had to use him, Ian LaPerriere would have put him in. So if he didn't think he was ready yet, he wouldn't have put him as a backup. So I trust all three three of those guys, honestly, when it comes to that. And then Shusko also to round out this video has looked very good this season. He's only been able to get the one point this far, but the point totals obviously have not been coming for our Phantoms yet really this year. That's why we have the 1-5-2 and two record that the Lehigh Valley Phantoms have. It's not because of goaltending, and it's not really because of the defense as a whole either. Some games it is because of the defense, but it's mostly because of the offensive output. So once we really get that going, because you see the good play on the ice, you see it building. Once the Phantoms get that going, that's when this is really going to change. they got to come out. you got to win at least one of two against these Charlotte Checkers this, we uh, this weekend, excuse Excuse me, in order to build momentum going into next week as our Lehigh Valley Phantoms look to make a little run here and actually have a good successful stretch is then we play Hershey, then we play Providence, then we play Springfield um, next week after this set of games against the Charlotte Checkers this weekend. The Phantoms got to try to win at least one of these two. And then, of course, try to take two out of three from that set of games next week and then try to get going again in the right direction. So this has been the Lehigh Valley Phantoms Weekland Preview. Two against the Charlotte Checkers, a very good team, a very good opponent, a very ample opponent that our Phantoms are going to have to play their A game against both nights in order to get a W. This has been the latest edition of the Ghostly Take. I'm Sports Fanatic News. Please subscribe down below or on the easy-to-use widget up above. Let's go, Phantoms. Let's get those Ws going.